The actor who plays the leader in Captain America Brave New World was recently doing interviews talking about returning as the character and what we can expect from the final cut of the film. And he says he doesn't know because he shot the entire film twice. Due to the amount of reshoots he had to do the second time around that changed everything and he's not aware of what it changed in the parts that he's not a part of. But the internet said they didn't do reshoots. <laughs> It's been a very well-known public fact just by looking at productions, by looking at how long the initial production of Captain America 4 took, and then the fact that the reshoots took as long, that there was major revisions and overhauls to the film. Whether or not you're a diehard fanboy of the MCU and you try to say it's not true, it literally is because multiple people were either cut with their entire plot cut out and replaced by other actors, and actors had to be shuffled around while also removing characters. And again, we understand that there's still going to be more cuts made to this film due to political reasons in the United States this year. So with that in mind, the leader himself, Tim Blake Nelson, was recently doing interviews and they asked him about shooting Captain America 4 and his experience. And he said that his experience was great. The first time he shot the film, everything was in the bag. He was happy with it. And then he was like, well, I'm going to look for other projects. And then he gets called back for extensive amounts of reshoots. And he said that the reshoots that they did are so different than the initial shoot that he did that he essentially shot two completely different films. And that's what we're going to be seeing. Now, let me preface this before people say I'm hating the MCU. Captain America is my favorite MCU property. Captain America is my favorite superhero in Marvel Comics. I am a huge fan of Sam Wilson. That hot toy of him from the TV series is proudly displayed as one of my, like, best pieces of my collection. Same with his version from the Winter Soldier movie. I love that hot toy as well. I'm a huge fan of the Falcon. This isn't anything against the actors. This isn't anything against anybody in it. But... It's a known fact that Marvel Studios has struggled. I don't care if you're a giant fanboy, you need to understand this. The studio has had hard times. We all know this. Eternals did not deliver. Okay? It started the downward trend and the, oh my god, Marvel is going down. That's when it really kicked off. Secret Invasion is garbage. Thor Love and Thunder was not well received by everybody, which is why they're pivoting and Taika's not returning. We know, because there is evidence, including the actors talking about it now, that this film had a lot of trouble during its production, for various reasons. And with rumors, due to the fact that the director wasn't even present on recent presentations of the film when Disney brought out other directors and cast and crew, that he might have been removed from the reshoots, something about this film just isn't hitting right. It's got all the signs of, past production problems we've heard and i hope i'm wrong because i need this movie to hit so i can get more captain america but when the villain of the film talks about shooting two separate films that almost don't feel the same it's a fundamental change to whatever the story was and we know the initial version of this film was essentially hulks and then captain america is a side character they obviously went and changed that but how much did it impact the overall story and what did they keep? That's going to be the part that we have to judge, right? So while I have my worries about this film, I trust it's going to be good because I need it to be good. But also the actor just confirmed what we knew. This film substantially changed during multiple rounds of reshoots. Oh.